is Sha Yao. Today I'm introducing you to this product, Eatwell, which is a seven-piece tableware set I designed for people with cognitive impairment. I was inspired by my grandmother who had Alzheimer's. Being one of the caregivers, I know the job of caregiving is not a simple task. And there are three directions I would like to work on to help them to have better but better quality of life. The first direction is I want to uh, create something to solve the wandering old problem by uh, uh, by uh, re revising the exceeding checking devices. And the second direction is I want to create an activity which can um, make the caregiver and the people with cognitive impairment to interact with each other more and the third direction is about the daily activity and I discover eating is one of the uh, directions which has the most potential eating is very essential but if a person who need care fail to have meals and they she or he may have more problems later and many caregivers also experience that their loved ones doesn't uh, refuse to eat or they usually uh, they always eat less than they should. So my project proposal is to, I, help, I hope I can help them to uh, eat as much as possible and maintain their dignity and also alleviate, uh, try to alleviate the caring burdens of caregivers. I do the color study first and I, I found a very useful study from the Boston University which states that if I simply change the color of the plate to solid color such as red or blue, 24% of uh, people with Alzheimer's can eat more food and 84% of them can consume more liquid. And the reason why is because they may have vision problem. For example, they can see a white rice on a white plate clearly. That was the first time I realized that design can really make big differences to improving their lives. So I applied this research to my uh, design and I made, I made my tableware set in the color blue since there is no food in blue color. And I also used the red and yellow <laughs> color to stimulate, stimulate the appetite. For developing this project, I also volunteer in um, adult daycare centers and uh, also I attended um, many related events to know more professionals like you and to get more uh, valuable feedbacks on my design. So this, uh, through my uh, first hand observations, I discovered that the patterns on the pay, uh, on the play may confuse the user. They may see it as, as food, so they will keep screwing it. And the second, they may use the appropriate utensil to eat, which is very dangerous. And uh, sometimes when they uh, try to screw the food, the gap between the utensil and the plate may have, the gap may um, make that hard for them to get anything they want in their plate. And sometimes when they keep screwing the food like this, it's very easy for them to screw the food out of the plate easily. And if there is some food left on the bottom of a plate, and it's hard for them to finish all the food. So for solving these problems, I made some uh, sketches and mock-ups, and I also tried to use different shape of spoons, and I also tried to use the vacuum machine to use uh, to create some uh, spoons that can be usable, and try to figure out the right size and right curvature. So after several modifications, I. Um, made my first prototype in China, and as you can see, the slender button for the bowls and can uh, help to gathering uh, the food or soup on one side without scooping. And the yellow set is suggested for food, and while the red set is suggested for the soup, uh, since the, uh, the spoon head is deeper in this set. And besides the slender button, I also make a right angle on one side of the bowl, which can stop the person uh, directly screw the food out of the bowl directly. And I also uh, make the uh, spoon curvature totally match the curvature of the inside of the, um, the, the, the bowl. And also, well, the other side matches the ring. And the handle is slanted, uh, is designed at 15 degrees slant since the uh, shape to match the shapes here is actually 15 degrees. And uh, there are more problems may occur during the meal time. For example, um, they may tip over cups very often, and because they have depth perception problem, so it's hard for the people to uh, get distinguish the right uh, distance between themselves and the object in front of them. And uh, it may caregivers have to come over and try to clean up the environment. And they may choke on the water as well. And in the daycare center, sometimes they will give them a stroll instead. But the problem is the stroll won't always stay in the place. 
and it may end up、uh, refuse to、uh, drink. And for solving these problems, I also made many、uh, development. And also,、uh, I tried to. I was trying to use the technology involved in this project. I found、uh, um, engineering from MIT lab, and he tried me.、Uh, he helped me to put the、uh, micro switches, and we were trying to use the electronic magnet to solve the problem to make my cup stable on the tray. And the but thing, but the thing is, when、uh, we bring the mockups back to the daycare center, they actually told me that、um, they want something. They have concern about it, so they want me to create something simple and also、uh, workable. So it all、uh, forced me to、uh, bring it back to the very beginning. I tried to change the shape of the cups and also the center of the gravity to make my design. So as you can see, I made a red cup, it, which has a、um, cold molded bottom、um, rubber mat material on the on the bottom. It works as a, sta a stabilizer. And I also made a cup with the handle, which I extended the、uh, handle to the tabletop to add some tractions to prevent it from tipping over. And both of the cups has a slender bottom inside, which can help the uh, uh, the, the person to、uh, drink all the liquid in the cup. And it both has the lid to、uh, to hold the straw in place. And there is a special design on the handle, which can benefit uh, people uh, who may have arthritis. And there is also a multi-purpose tray,、uh, which can、uh, first help the caregiver to serving the food, and it also be, can be used to as a separate eating area to make、uh, high contact with the tableware. And there is also a special design on the on the edge of the tray, since one of the most common situation is the food will drop easily from the spoon or from the mouth. So. Uh, it can allow the caregiver to help to、uh, attach the aprons on the tray to catch any food may drop between the table and the mouse. And I have to,、uh, I had put in a lot of work on this project, and I have、uh, already filed my provision patent to protect my design. And my <laughs> and my、uh, my plan for now is I I hope I can get enough found and also、uh, manufacture this set before the end of this year. And for this, I uh, contact uh, five different different manufacturers, both in the states and in Asia. And according to the、uh, quotation I got from Berkeley Sourcing, based on the minimum order, and I made my retail price one hundred and fifty dollars. It's five times of the cost. And、uh, since most of the money will be invested in the tooling part, and since if the demands are more, we we have、uh, more quantity de、uh, demands, then the price can be dropped easily. Uh, to one hundred dollars or、uh, even less. So this product set,、uh, product can revolutionize the way we see kitchenware only with your help, and it also make、uh, the price can also make it very practical and affordable. So、um, please support this project, and <laughs> and it will also be the last gift、uh, for my grandmother who unfortunately passed away. And、uh, do, do I still have time to talk? Or yeah, yeah, you got another minute and a half. If you okay, don't,、um, and then you've only got and, five. Okay,、uh, and I have my、uh, Shaw Design website, Shaw Design Studio website, and I also have a brochure I made and a, all my process book here. If you're interested in this project, and please contact me in person, or just、um, you're welcome to check this website. Thank you. Okay, fantastic. We're going to start the five minutes of Q and A now. We have,、uh, I'm sure, many questions. Yes, Julia. Have you、um, played around at all with other materials, so china or a corning type、yes. material, something that looks a little more normal? Uh, actually, uh, the, I use three different kind of materials in my set, and、uh, for example, the most set will be made、um, out of、uh, plastic material since it will can prevent it from cracking easily. And also, there every pieces of my product has a rubber,、uh, like a, like a silicone rubber material on the bottom to prevent、uh, slipping. Yeah. And does the mug, if I'm grabbing it? Is it heat resistant? Is it? It does the heat transfer through the mug? It is the mug.、Yes. You showed the picture of the person、yes. grabbing the mug. Is it, it? Did you have any issues with heat coming through the mug? 
Yeah, um, this this two kind of cops are um, when I volunteer in the daycare center, and usually they will give them these two choices. And since I know the people with cognitive impairment can really learn a lot of things, a little even little things, so I try to um, simil uh, use the similar shapes and similar use um, usage for made for them. Just makes small um, changes on it. So I think it's. Does it get hot oh, from no, the outside? No. So if I'm grabbing the mug, is it going to be hot? Insulated. Oh, the insulated. Sorry, I don't. Understand. Would that hurt your hands if you hold the mug? If I have I hot coffee in the I, mug, I, yeah, I think, and I grab it, is it going to be too hot to? I I think even in the daycare center, they worry about this question. So they don't even give them hot drinks. Or they will uh, the most situation they'll just give them a um, a cup with handle. That's the, the okay. Yeah. Um, have you given any thought to, in an institutional setting, uh, storage, the ability to stack large quantities of, of yes. these uh, items? Yes. Um, actually, those two balls can be uh, stacked together. The cup can, and also um, I I maybe have the. Like uh, I also uh, made some um, design like this set, the tray. I it didn't make it like straight. I make it like this so it can be stacked together. And I, I do think about the storage problems because I think my um, target user will be not only the individuals at home but also the daycare center or the, even hospital. So I do think about this. And, and a follow-up question: You had said that your projected cost was somewhere between 100 and 150 dollars depending not, not, on not the cost I'm sorry, the retail the, price the retail price yes. sorry what uh, based upon quantity and i was just wanted a sense of what minimum production quantity you were thinking 5000 okay yeah so it's the price is very um negotiable it's, it can be negotiable yeah, how, how well do the materials hold up after a lot of usage? Um, some plastic wear gets pretty scratched up after a while or changes colors during uh, hot washing and so forth. I think it uh, depends on the material we choose when we manufacture the set. And but as what I said, like um, the, those materials are suggested by uh, the mm -hmm. caregivers because they know that it can be wearable some, during the time, but the plastic is relatively hard already. Yeah, and it will be uh, FDA approved material, of course. Yeah. Good question over at the back here. As a lefty, I can't help but notice that the spoons seem to be for a right-handed person. Do you have one for left-handed people too? Yes, yes, but that will be uh, made for um, from the, uh, two different uh, tooling. Yeah, that, but that will definitely be. Okay. <laughs> Yes. And microwave safe? Uh, that one we are confirming, confirming the information because we uh, we are um, trying to manufacture it. All right. Uh, question. Uh, what are going to be what are going to be your channels of distribution? How do you plan to sell this? Uh, to How do you reach out to the buyers? You have twenty seconds. Just uh, distribution. Distributions, where, where yeah. Um, right now, I'm trying to uh, do the marketing through the uh, social media, like Facebook page, and also contact those professionals like you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad I have an opportunity to stand in here because I, I think I, I have contact all the organizations, but they are not having enough right. time to see. Perfect. Thank marketing. you very much indeed. Thank you.